Welcome to Tuesday's Tips with Laurie. I'm really excited to share two different products with you today. To start with, I'm going to show you, this is our brand new, isn't that darling? This is our brand new Smitten with Snow. It's a Pennants and Banners collection. I think this is the last of a four series that we've got out. And I'm going to just let you see, aren't these darling? There's Valentine's, you've got your cute snowmen, snowflakes, all that winter fun right there and I was going to show you not only do we have the four different designs but they come in five different sizes so right here we've got our little tiny guy which is so adorable this is the four by four and then we have a five by seven six by ten size an eight by twelve and for those of you that have that great big hoop look at the size of that nine by fourteen that is a lot of beautiful right there and I love the white glitter so these are your different sizes that are available. And I like that there's such a wide variety of sizes for you to have. So I'm gonna set that to the side. And right here, this is what our uh, DVD, that's the one you're gonna be looking for in the stores near you. It's called Pennants and Banners Smitten with Snow. Right there. All right, so, and the other product I was really excited about sharing with you today is our new Over the Edge applique. There's the fall and winter wonder, and then there's the spring and summer celebration. And these are really a lot of fun. There are three different types of projects. They come in two different sizes, and there's a new innovation technique that I love that we've uh, got on these and it's called edge to edge quilting. So I don't know how many of you have ever heard of that, but on our placemat, the project of the placemat, there is edge to edge quilting and they are unique designs for all four of those seasons. And you're gonna love that. What I wanted to share with you today, and I've had a few people ask, and I've seen some questions out there, how many tea towels do we need in order to make a full set? Well, you actually need three tea towels, which is two different sets of tea towels and I'll show you what you'll start with. So to start with, and this is gonna show, I'm gonna show you the apron. And the apron does only needs one tea towel. So the first thing you do is you make your pocket. You make your pocket in the hoop, and I love that it's got this flexible foam interfacing in it, gives it some nice stability as well as some fun 3D uh, dimensional look, and it is an over the edge pocket right there. And then you take that pocket and you attach it to your tea towel. And you can see I've left the marks right here where we actually have placed our pocket. So you can see we do some markings and then you'll place your um, hoop so that it's right centered. And then when you add the pocket, the pocket's right where you want it to be. And yes, if you're right or left-handed, you can place the pocket on either side of the bottom of that tea towel. So now you've got the, the look, this is the tea towel now. I'm going to show you that's how we add to the top applique to the tea towel and then it starts becoming a little bit more it looks like an apron and I wanted to just quickly share with you you can see 5 by 7 6 by 10 so there's a little bit of size difference so you can put whatever size pocket you would prefer on and of course the applique you can make it smaller or larger and match once you get your applique piece on you simply are trimming the side, top side corners of your tea towel and turning it into that beautiful apron. Isn't that magic? I love that. And the best part is the top has already got a finished edge and so do the other three sides. So it's only the two sides that you cut off where it's slanted that you're going to need to even worry about finishing. So you just roll that a couple times, top stitch, and you've got your apron, basic apron ready. Now the cool part is adding that crocheted trim. Isn't that cool? So this is beautiful. It's a crocheted ribbon trim and I love the crocheted edge. It's beautiful on that edge. And you'll use that for your neck piece as well as your tie straps. I'm gonna show you, we do have this in a variety of colors. There is your lime green crocheted edge trim. There's the red crocheted edge trim and then there's the gray. The gray is what we are showing right now on on this particular fall, but I'm going to show you what the green, how the green would look if we were to place that on an apron as well. So right here, I've actually got, this is from the summer collection, 
and you can see this is the pocket and it's cute like it's made with vinyl and you can put your wooden your little wooden stirring spoon in there that is just so cute and then there's your applique and those are the five by seven that'd be the five by seven pocket and the five five by seven applique and then here we've cut off the sides again and turned it into our apron and the trick and tips I wanted to show you has to do with adding this crocheted trim piece. So the first thing I'm going to show you is you take your crocheted trim, you place it down right side up so it's facing you. So these are wrong sides together. And I just put the very edge of the trim right at the bottom edge, uh, finished edge of your apron. And then you fold it back on itself like so. Um, and you leave about an inch and then I pin it in place and once I have it pinned in place then I'm going to turn it back over and as you can see that's the way it's going to look on your apron well to reinforce those stitches it's better to have a box with a square and not just a single line um, th that way you, you can get a little bit you know rough with those apron ties and it will stay because you want those reinforced and I've had a few people say, how do you get a nice straight stitch box with an extra without getting it all crooked? What I like to do, and you could use a ruler if you'd prefer, is I like to draw a line with a um, erasable or an iron-on friction pen. And you can just draw your box, you draw your X right through it, and it's so much easier to follow. Uh, it's much easier to follow a straight line when you're sewing something that you can just, I can just sew, follow that, easy, it's done. Then you take it to your ironing board and you simply iron those, draw the lines that you drew away and you've got, you're left with a beautiful box that looks really pretty. And I would definitely match your, your um, thread color to your apron. Anyway, that's how you would finish off those aprons. And you can actually do the same thing on the side trim right here and I would use this larger the largest ribbon for the side ties um, and this has uh, the three different sizes of trim and it's two yards of each so you've got a lot of trim there and available to you I am so happy that you were able to join me today for that tip and one more thing I have one last request I'm going to See if any of you out there that have made pennants and banners in the past or have made any of these, if you have any tips that you would like to share with us here at Kimberbell, we would love to hear what your tips are. So please comment below or send us pictures of what you would like to see. Thank you so much for joining us this week. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.